Okay, so uh, now we're gonna install a sim like machine. It's by AT&T. It's called OSSIM. OSSIM. So what you're gonna have to do first is go to their website or just search it and you're gonna download the ISO image. So you have it in your file. All right, and as you can see, I have it here, uh, Alien Vault uh, OSSIM, 64-bit. Uh, once you get that done, uh, what we're gonna do is go right over here. We're gonna create a new server, and we're gonna call this OSSIM. Uh, call it whatever you like. I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna upload the OS file here, skip untenant. Okay. There's the OSM file. It's a Linux. It's a Debian. Let's get on tenant installation. Call it OSSIM. And Maybe, yes, we can do it here. Give it some RAM. Give it some CPU to install. Hard disk. Give it about, let's give it about 50. Let's do 100 just to make sure we have everything covered there. Check the hardware on a 10 installation, so we're not doing that. Okay, hard disk. So everything looks good here. I'm gonna hit finish. It's gonna pop it here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to settings. And that's everything that we did here. Update the memory, the processor. Kinda want to make sure we turn our wire direction. It's up to you. I like to do it just in case I need it, I have it. Network will be our NAT network here and once you get that done go ahead power up and start our installation all right so now it has opened up first we're going to do is we going to install our OSSIM um, server machine to make sure we can collect data logs and after that, we'll install our uh, sensor to do our heads. Uh, just like any Linux installation, we're gonna choose English. I'm gonna be in the United States, American English, and let it install. Should ask for the hard drive space. And and now it's acting for a, a IP address. As you guys already know already, in all our servers, uh, we are using the network. And we're using the NAT network. And this is our IP address range from 10.0.2.0 10 up to 255. So we got other ones here with different IP address. If you guys remember, um, I'm going to choose something in the middle. So we're not intruding with the other IP address here. So it's going to be 10.0.2. We're going to do 60. I'm going to do 60. You can do whichever one that doesn't match within this because it's isolated network uh, under NAT network. Okay, so now once we have that, go ahead and continue. Uh, the, as far as the um, subnet mass, uh, 255, 255, 255 is good. And the gateway would be 10.0.2.1. So the first IP address here will always be the gateway.
and then we're going to choose a password for the user of root that's running alien vault so the username is root so we just need to create a password that you will remember and we will be central time and now it's looking at the disk so first it looked at the network to figure out where it's going to install the sim like um, data log to catch all the data the logs everything that's going in and out of the network um, so first was that network setting now it's actually looking at the uh, hard disk to install the operating system All right, so it finished installing and uh, it's uh, reloading the system again, uh, server. So a few things we're gonna do. Um, gonna change this host name to uh, OSSIM server and then also gonna change it on the virtual box setting right here. So then we can tell the difference between the server and also the uh, uh, heads. All right, so finally uh, got up and running. So now we're going to log in. Let's see if I can zoom this in. Uh, not right now, but the the user is root, and the password that you created, and it's gonna go ahead and open up the operating system. So. See, we can uh, do it a little bit later, but we're going to choose configure. Um, let's see, let's go to system preference and we're going to use host, configure host name. And we're going to call this O S S I M server and hit OK. System needs to reboot to make changes. Uh, note it and we're gonna go down and go back and uh, we're going to shut down the appliance I think uh, I think that's all we got for this one here so we're gonna shut down the appli appliance and we're gonna say yes Just enter okay once that's done, uh, shutting down, what we're going to do is create another one, um, install it, but we're going to use it as a heads uh, or network intrusion de detection device. So one's going to be the same main server, the second one will be a, a intrusion detection. So what we're going to do while that's shutting down, we're going to create new, oops, not here. So this one here can be deleted. Yes. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna click new, not add, but new. Uh, this is the original. I just went to expert. Um, you can call this. You can. We can do the guided mode. Hopefully it works. And this is gonna be the power into detection. Um, and this is going to be the OSSIM sensor. Oh, it's a Linux and it's going to be a Debian 64 bit right here. Debian 64 bit. Uh, we're going to use our ISO image. So you're going to use the same one as the other one. Alien Vault hit next give it some RAM uh, give it some CPU the reason I'm uh, giving a lot is because uh, I wanted to have it install a little bit quicker uh, again this would be 50 hit next hit finish this first one here we're just gonna go settings uh, just change this to server 
Hit OK. So now we got the server, and now we're going to install the sensor. Double. Should I wait on that to change the network? So let us boot up, and um, we're going to close it and change the server settings. Fine to power off like that because we haven't done anything and in the sensor one we're going to go to advance make sure we have the setup uh, system our memory a network card and we're going to do NAT network and also we're going to add a second adapter so this first adapter is plugging up to the server and the second one is the sensor to get all the data that's coming into it uh, and then that data get feeds to the server so on the second adapter we're just going to do the NAT network again uh, but this time we, we do the changes on the network here there's this thing called permissionless mode uh, we want to allow all so then all the data all the traffic can flow through and pass through if you don't have permissions mo on, you can't track anything. So now adapter one would be just regular uh, NAT network. And the second one adapter will be NAT network, but to allow permissions mo. So that completes that setting there. And now we're gonna go ahead and start the sensor and get the installation done. Okay, so now it's open up and what we want to do here is we want to install the sensor, which is the second option. So click that and let it go ahead and install. We're going to do English, United States, American English. And this is where the difference is going to be. Uh, we going to have to input the IP address. So first one was 10.0.2.60. This one here, I'm gonna make it 61. So 10.0.2.61. So it's two different IP address. So we want to do our ETH zero. That's the main internet um, that by default is. Uh, the second one here, and if you read it, it says your system has multiple interface, which is right because we set one up for the uh, network intrusion detection, and the other one was the main one. It says choose the one used as primary network interface during installation. So since this is just installation, uh, we're going to choose the first one here. And then the IP address again was 10.0.2.61. I'm gonna do 61. Okay, continue uh, to just double check. We'll go to tools. Here's the network here 10.0.2.0. Well, I'm gonna be on the 61. Um, so that mass, if we go back, be 61. Uh, the southern mask can leave that so and the main gateway is the 10.021 uh, that's the gateway it says the server name which is going to keep it like that and then again uh, enter a new password or we use one that you know of because this is only test going to continue we're going to be in central and let it install and once it's done we'll open both the machine up and we can get the installation uh, configuration from there okay so it has finished installation uh, user was root and the password you chose just make sure everything is working correctly. Remember, this is the sensor uh, with the double IP address. And we're going to go and system preference, uh, host configure name. We're going to call this OSSIM, but we're going to call this the sensor. 
Okay, and he's restart. So we're done there. And now we're gonna go back one more time. And we're going to not reboot, but we're gonna shut down. And yes, I'm sure. So now we install the server one. Um, and then this is the sensor that's running right now that's getting shut down. Just go ahead, check the settings, go network. Only has one adapter, so we're good there on that network. And now on the second one, we got network. So the second one we got, uh, the first adapter would be net network with this on uh, deny. And the second one will be to allow all and promiscuous mode. So everything's good there. So now let's go ahead and since we finished the installation, um, I'm going to turn down my processor and get a two. So not using a lot of resources. And same for the sensor, I'm going to turn down the processor to two. And we can go ahead and start up the server. Give it a second to boot up. Uh, let the server open up properly get the IP address that uh, we register um, made a static for it and then we can boot up the second one and let that um, get get the IP that we set up for it so to not make this confusing we're gonna put the server on the left hand side and when that's so we done boot it, we can start the second one here, which is our sensor, and we're gonna put it on the right hand side. Okay, so the main server one's up. We go on login with root and our password we created. And you can see the IP address up there in the pink is 10.0.2.60. Wait till this loaded. Alrighty, and then we can go ahead and start the sensor, which I'm gonna put on the right hand side. Alright, we can minimize the virtual. Close that out. Okay, so main server on the left and the right will be the sensor. Uh, wait till it opens up and log in. Alright, and you can see this IP address is in pink. It's 10.0.2.61. The username was root and the password you created. Get that logged in. And if we look to the one on the left, still the IP on the bottom down there. Um, what we're going to do is make the IP on the right sensor to point towards the server. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do is on the server, we're going to configure the source plugins, the plugin, which is the network intrusion devices. Over, um, we want to send the system logs. So we want to go to configure system. Since configure sensor, uh, and we go we want to go to configure data source plugin, and we're just going to type letter S because there's a lot here, and we're looking for syslog. So it's right there, S Y S L G, and we're going to hit space bar to check mark it, and we'll hit OK. So now we're going to configure that. Okay, and then once we get that configured there, we have to reboot it. So on a server, we're going to go back and we're going to reboot the appliance and we're going to say yes. 
uh, that way it can um, make the changes that we just did in the configuration. Okay, so it, it rebooted. Uh, we're gonna log in again. And uh, what we're gonna do with the sensor on the right hand side is to configure the uh, IP server IP address over to the main server one. So I'm gonna let this boot up, make sure everything's working. All right, so now we can go to the sensor on the right hand side. Uh, we're gonna configure sensor and the third option, which is number two, says configure alien vault server IP address. That's loopback 127.0.01. We want to actually put it to the one over here on the server, which is 10.0.2.60. 10 You're going to hit enter. And then we're going to configure the uh, fourth four option, which is the configuration alien vault framework. IP and we're going to type in the same IP address uh, as the server 10.0.2.60 hit OK uh, we're going to go back and then we're going to reboot the sensor alright uh, totally we've got one more I'm gonna log into the sensor on the right hand. It just got done rebooting. Uh, we need to configure the monitoring for it. Remember those two uh, network card we set up? So we're gonna go number two, configure sensor, network monitoring, and there's EF1 and EF0. We want to just use EF1 uh, because EF0 is going to the server. EF1 will be collecting all the data. Um, then we're going to hit OK, hit back. Actually, I don't think I finished the, let's, let's check the alien vault. So I never apply the changes. So, uh, that was 10.0.2.60. Uh, for the server IP, the framework IP will be the same, 10.0.2.60. Hit OK. Uh, we're gonna go back. Okay, instead of just rebooting, we need to apply the changes that uh, are done. There, I think we'll also want to make sure that the data source uh, under syslog is also checked. So it was not checked. So syslog here. You hit OK. We're going to go back and we want to go to number eight, which is apply all changes. Instead, we want to change the framework, the I, uh, server IP, and the uh, EF1 for the internet. Um, yes. And then let it reboot to update the configuration. As you can see, it's different. We're going to go back to this um, main server one here. And I don't think the the name and everything got changed. So data source plugin syslog should be checked. Um, there you go. Syslog was not checked. Hit OK there. Good there. We're gonna go back. We want to do configure sensor. We want to change the name, which was system preference host name. Yeah, it never got changed, so I didn't save the setting. Uh, OSSM IM um, server. Hit OK. So we got the host name changed. We have the sys log in there. So we should be good with this. We're gonna apply all changes. Uh, we wanna say yes, let it reboot. On the right hand side, for the sensor, changes apply, go ahead, okay. Then we need to go ahead 
and reboot the appliance. Uh, let's let's do one more. Um, let's check to make sure that the name was changed. No, it was not changed. So OSSIM sensor. Hit OK. Hit OK. We'll go back. Go and apply changes. So it should have changed the IP addresses, the syslog, and also the the host name. Once all those are good. Reboot it. Okay, so now the sensor is done. Change the supply. And then we're going to reboot appliance. Let that reboot while the update should be done uh, working on the main server one. Alright, so the main one, the main server is done. Changes has been applied. And now we want to go ahead and reboot the server. We'll say yes. Before we log into our sensor one, we're going to wait until the server one is complete and then we're going to see down the bottom that I, IP, IS, the IP address has changed as far as where it's sending the data. Okay, so both has been rebooted. Again, the left one is the server, so we're going to log in with root and our password, your password you created. And make sure that's booted up first. And then I will type in root over here and the password. And I'll wait till the server has up and running. Okay. Now I'm going to hit enter on the sensor. And we should be able to log in. All right. So if you look on the left hand side at the top, that's the IP address of the server. And then at the down the bottom, uh, it says access the alien vault through that IP address. And then on the right hand side is the sensor and it's um, uh, 10.0.261. And then at the bottom it says you can access alien vault interface to 10.260. So it's pointing to the server. So we're good here for this setup. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna keep these two up. Uh, that's Windows uh, Linux server that we had up earlier. Uh, I should have turned on the processor, but it's fine. Uh, what we're gonna do is test to make sure that we can ping these two server and that it's working. So let the server load up, load up. But you can always you can always do some tests on the right hand side, which is the sensor. Uh, if you go to jailbreak system, you're going to say yes to that. It's going to give you like the terminal down the bottom and we're just going to ping 10.0.2.2 10 and as you can see, we're pinging across to the main server and it's working. So now we can just go ahead, exit on this, enter return menu. So now we're back there. All right, so now we have the server almost working. Give it a sec. And on the server on the left hand side, we can, always, we can do the same. We're going to jailbreak system and hit OK. Now we got the shell with the terminal and we're going to ping 10.0.2.61. And that would be the sensor on the right hand side. And it looks like it's working. So we're good there. Hit exit. So we're back to the main menu. So now, let's get this set up a little bit. Okay, so login would be 
org, uh, whichever one you set up, and go and type in our password. Okay, now we print working directory. Now we are in the server. Uh, and this, we're just gonna ping the OSSIM mod, um, server. It's 10.0.2.60. And as you can see, the ping works. And we can also ping 61, which is the sensor. And that works. So it means that these three computers, or virtual computer, are on the same network. And we should be able to start collecting logs uh, through the sensor into the OSSIM server. Okay, so there's a few things on the server um, that we could add on to this. Um, so, uh, sudo app update and n sudo app upgrade dash y. So we don't have to type in the password after this. And get the most up to date packages because we're going to uh, install Apache onto the server. Uh, if you don't know Apache, it's a web web server, web host. So, as long as this uh, Ubuntu uh, Linux server is up, Apache is running, it's a web server. Uh, if it's off, you get no web server. It's almost done installing. And when it gets done, Updating, uh, we're gonna go ahead and install Apache server. Which server we'd like to restart? So let's see what servers we have. We got system there, everything looks fine uh, because we updated. Okay. So, okay, now we're in the directory. So, what we're gonna do is sudo app install patchy2. And let it install patchy. And then we're also gonna install open um, SSL fine we just restart there okay clear this and do sudo app install open SSL if I spell install right no trees done so okay open SSL is installed so we're good here um, we can also check uh, the firewall Actually, we're going to check see what apps we have installed. So it would be U, it would be a UFW for our firewall app list. So we're going to do sudo UFW app list. So now we have Apache in there. We got OpenSSH. Uh, we're good there. Uh, we can also do UFW status. which you gotta use sudo. So right now the firewall is inactive. Um, to check the status that was sudo UFW status. Uh, we're gonna change it to enable. So let me just show you the manual first. UFW, uh, UFW dash H. Okay. So what you can do is enable, enable the firewall, disable it. Um, you can restart it. You can check the status. Uh, you look at the app list, which we already did already. So in this case, we want to enable it because it's inactive. So it's sudo u ufw enable. So now it says the firewall is active and enable. So now we can check uh, the status again. Ufw sudo ufw status. 
and now the status is active uh, we could also check the uh, list so what's allowed so pseudo UFW uh, allow uh, not allow but list number status number status number it's active so so uh so now that's active uh there's a configuration file that we have to make adjustment to uh it's in the cd etsy net plan and we do a ls to look what's in there it's zero zero dash installer config dot yaml so since the configuration you have to use sudo uh, I would like using Vim, so I'm going to Vim this, and these are the settings you have to adjust. And in here, if I do I for insert, so the stuff we have to adjust here will be right at the end over here of uh, the EMP OS 3 go ahead enter go and type in address addresses uh, go ahead enter I'm going to do the dash space uh, the IP address of the whole subnet was 010.0.0 .0 .0. Uh, sorry, 2.0-24. Uh, if you don't know, if you go back to your virtual box, go to tools, and go under here to network, it's this right here. And then, we're going to have to hit enter. And go back backspace once and twice to the underneath address and we're gonna type in routes. You go ahead enter dash space and to D to space default and it's gonna be that valid um Close that out. It's going to be 10.0.2.1, which is the gateway. So, those are the settings that you have to change there. Okay, so now we got that done. We're going to hit escape colon, shift colon, uh, WQ to write and quit hit enter so the configuration has been updated so if we cat the zero installer and that's the update that we did we added the address the IP address of the whole network and the routes back to the gateway which is the 10.0.2.1 and since we got that done uh, we can do IP route and as you can see, the default value route is 10.0.2.1, which is the gateway. Uh, there's a source of 10.0.2.28. And that goes back out to the main 192.168.1.1. So that's like outside of the box of this scope here. Okay, so just reading this uh, IP route, uh, it says EN, I can't mark it on here, but it says EP, EMPO3S Proto DHCP source. So it actually gave uh, DHCP. Um, I don't want it to give me new IP addresses all the time. 
So I'm going to change this. If we go back into the sudo vim, uh, the installer config, I'm just going to erase this DHCP. Or we can, I think we can comment it out with the uh, hashtag. And we some shift in the colon right quit and then do the IP route again. Okay, so it still shows. So let's just go ahead and um, delete this DHCP that is true because we don't want it to give new IP address. And, and I think I'm gonna add one more underneath this version. So at the end of two, gonna hit enter, backspace, and we're gonna type in render, render, Network D. She's gonna be. It's gonna be. Render er. Network D. Gonna right quit. And we do IP routes. And we just want to check one more thing is uh, I we're going to do IP space A. So okay, so this server here is 10.0.2.28. So then the default that route will go to 10.0.2.1 and then to this IP address is 10.2.28. Okay, uh, looks good. Uh, there's a few things we can do too. We do ARP A. Uh, we don't have it, so we're going to do sudo app install net tools. Which uh, allow us to use ARP. Okay, let's clear this. Now let's just go ahead and do ARP A. And the gateway is 10.2.1, 10.0.2.1. Okay, and we can also uh, ping google.com, and it's working. So we got internet access. So it means the configuration that we did there is working. We can access the internet. Uh, let's just ping the server, the OSSIM model. Um, server make sure we're still on the same network this ping 10.0.2.60 that's working and 61 for the sensor and that's working too so yes uh everything here is set up correctly okay so so that completes this part a little a uh, little bit so now we're gonna open our kali linux uh, just a regular Kali Linux and we're gonna configure the configuration now for the sensor and the server um, to make sure everything's working correctly so we configure uh, the OSSIM sensor and server on the back side uh, now we're gonna configure it on the GUI which is, is like all the firewall the syslog and everything the way the application runs so let Kali um, open up here so I'm gonna put the server on the top left top left would be the sensor the middle here can be the, the Linux server and we have our Kali here let's go ahead and uh, log in All right, so first few things just to test out to make sure that everything is making connection is we're going to ping 
the OSSIM model uh, server 10.0.2.60. Okay, so that works. So that means we're on the same network. We can also ping 61. That works. We make sure we're on the same server. And the last one will be this one here, our Linux server. Uh, we do IPA. Just get the IP address. And it was 28, so 10.0.2.28. And that's also working. So all these four machines are on the same server, uh, same network. So we're good there. So we can close the terminal and now open a web browser. And this is where we're going to come a little bit of the fun stuff to kind of configure the application. So now we want to go to 10. 0 0.2.60 because that's the server and it's going to give you this warning um, because it doesn't have the certification uh, saying hey this is trusted uh, as it says here so we're just going to go to advance accept and continue so now we can configure the um, OSSIM um, server Okay, so I'm going to call this org. Uh, we're going to create a password. Um, you got all these passwords, so try to remember your password. Email uh, is not going to go out to anywhere, so you can just do... I'm just going to do org.org.com. Uh, company name will be org organization and we can skip the location and we can start alien vault don't save or do org dot uh org dot Uh, we do org.gmail.com. It's an in, uh, invalid email. Okay, so it does, probably doesn't like org, so we go org. Go org again. Organization.gmail.com. It's an invalid email. One second. Yeah, so it's not working because um, I didn't add the at symbol, right? That's how email is done correctly. At org gmail, okay. So org at we can do organization at org dot com. Should work now. Okay, now it's work. Uh, we're gonna not save. Uh, admin is the user and we're going to type in the password you're going to type in the password that you just created we're not going to save uh, skip the alien vault okay so now we have um, the alien vault install the user interface um, I'm happy you guys are 49 minutes in with me on this. I know it took a long time, but yes, um, we're in we're in the trenches now. Okay, so I skipped the uh, the uh, help wizard. Uh, so now we're gonna have to figure out how to do this. If we go under configuration, if you want to follow the wizard, it'll be a lot more easier. Uh, we do deployments, and this here is uh, 60 will be our server up here. Uh, we go to sensor, and these are the two sensor. Uh, they are being reported, enabled, but the server aren't config, so we want to insert. That's the IP. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Uh, 
please enter root password in order to configure it. So type in your password. So it's configuring this 60, which is the OSS IM server. There seems to be a database error. I'll look at plugin, application. I think we need to set up. That was deployment for. Okay, so this one's up. Okay, so we also need to set up 61. So sensor here. Uh, we're going to insert. Type in our password here to set up 10.0.2.61, which is the sensor, and let that uh, update. Okay, so there's the error again. We're just going to head back, um, go back to deployment, and let that retrieve. So it already has the uh, 10.0.260 server up. Okay, so now both of them are updating. Cool, if we click on this system detail, it can show how much space it has left, how long it's been running for 47 minutes. Um, this is the current version of the software. There's seven plugins. It's on ETH1. Okay, so it's going through the sensor. And back this way. So we can actually turn off one of the network car um, LAN ports if we wanted to. Okay, so looks like we're good there. Let's just make this big. Okay. We're done with that. Uh, the other ones for right now. Um, see what's next. Looks like uh, there's one more sensor here. So. Let's go ahead and check that again. Status is no. You must enter the root password of the remote system. And we're going to configure it. While that's happening need to get the network set up. Okay, so I'm gonna try a few things. Go to environment, go assets and group. Uh, we're gonna go under network. We're gonna add a network. Uh, the name can be called org. Uh, 10 dot zero dot two dot zero slash 24 will be the network and the sensor is on the 10 dot zero dot 261 to ask that no let's just hit save there so this is the network I don't care about the Google map for right now. Okay, so we're inside the network. Vulnerabilities, alarms, asset, properties. 
Okay, just look at the network again. So that's that one there. You guys just take a look at it. We go back. Now let's look at this one here. So all these have zero. Let's look at a network group. Set new. So, so we let's just call this org. Select new one below. So we are only on this one here. So we got one, two, three, four network groups. Okay, so that's managing the groups. Asset groups. Cancel. Get the assets. We have no assets. Okay, so <clears throat> our sensors up, our servers up. Uh, we're gonna have to make uh, one change for the sensor. So as soon as the sensor uh, retrieve that's up, we will go to this little eye icon, which is system details. Uh, going to click on that, and we will go to sensor. Just on that. Okay, so we're good there. So we go to threat intel, and we're gonna go to directives. And there's a search bar here. Uh, you do Mito, which is a vulnerability scan uh, tools. And it's right here. This is the news feed. This is what's happening uh, with this tool. So we can clone this. So now we have our user contribute and we're going to open it and we're going to erase this explanation point here or and uh, we're going to go to this plus sign right here on the user contributed because that's the one we copy or clone uh, if we want to look at all the assets that we have on Internal will be on our network, which is the 10.0.2, which is the org-24 here. Uh, click, we just click network, uh, we just click on that network there. Let's see what's under there, host not found. And we want to delete this home.net because that's everything outside coming in. And we have the org and the home net will be everything in the home. We we actually don't need that. So it'll be everything in the home here. And the option of any right here. Uh, specify any ports. Uh, we want any ports and then we want to hit modify. So this is the source that's coming into the destination, which is our home. So we want to manage, monitor everything on the internal. Okay. It has been saved. And then we're going to reload directives. All directives are, will be reloaded and all current directives will be reset. Uh, hit no. So it's good here so this is ours that we did there alien vault cool now the next step we have to do is go over to a server up here on the top left and we want to jailbreak this and clear the screen 
different working directory. Let's see if I can make this a little bigger. Okay, um, big enough there. And we want to CD into Etsy Cicada. And we're going to list. And so we want to edit a file in here to manage all our network intrusion. All right, so then uh, we want to go into the configuration. So I'm going to use uh, Vim uh, Sericata.yaml. And I want to four dash. I need to make this bigger. There we go. All right, so I want to use the four dash and flying external net, uh, external underscore net. Cool. So that's what we need to find. I'm um, gonna hit I to insert and I want to erase this home.net because I want anything so I'm just going to put any and hit escape shift semicolon right quit and it has been written so so it has been updated and uh, what we got to do is uh, restart the service for Sericata so we're going to do service restart or uh, service Sericata restart oh hold it yeah, uh, we're going to do service, Sericata, without the YAML, just the service, uh, restart, stopping, and then it's starting, so now it's done. Okay, so now we're good there. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller again. And go back over here, make this big. And let's go dashboard. See if there's anything, nothing yet. So we're gonna go to alarms and there's no alarms yet. So we're gonna create one. So then there's no alarms yet, so we open the terminal and do a neato dash H and we want to target our Apache so that was our Linux which is 10.0.2.29 I believe which is our server here, which is actually 28. So 28. And allow it to see if it will connect to it. And it didn't find a server there. Uh, we're just gonna do it one more time. And then we can minimize this terminal and hit alarm again. C 
see if any alarm has been populated. Probably won't populate. Um, I didn't get the network config correctly, set up correctly. So let me second look at that. So, so to get some logs into the system, we kind of need to log into each one. Um, which missed out at the wizard configuration. So go under deployment, you go to server, and then this is the server here, and double click this. We wanna turn alarm system on, and then remote admin. Remember it was root plus your password. And we can save this. Okay, apply changes. So alarms on, the password, everything's in. That was the server. Now we look at the, we look at the um, sensor. That's the IP address, description. Inventory mass, scan type, normal. Um, hmm. Trying to look for a spot to log in. That's not going to do. All right. Plugin builder, there's nothing there. Location, let's add a new plugin and see. Okay, so no, we don't need any of that. So here on now, I'm just gonna do uh, some troubleshooting. So you want to watch this part, you don't have to. So that was, Server's up, uh, sensor's up, just looking for the server. Try to log in, check in the server information here. Sensor configuration. So it's sending back as a loop back on here. Detection, east up, we got his or nids. Detectors are up. Okay, sensor. Okay, this is the sensor. Got the server. And that was the server there. Let's go check the overview. No data yet. Tickets. Security, taximony, vulnerability, deployment status, let's look at the quick start. So here's a quick start how to, oh, too close, back, configure that, activate the free trial, so run the get starting wizard, configure the yes and getting the, getting the, uh, getting started wizard. Okay, so I'll pause it here. All right, so did some search on the web and I found this. So um, what you want to do, 
this is what I found. What you want to do is you want to go to the terminal and echo update config set value to one where the config start welcome wizard and grip that to OL, uh, not grip uh, to part um to the next step of that is the OSSIM in the database. This is what you want to copy, but you want to copy that to your server up here and then echo that into it and then go back and log back in and the configuration will populate so we can start from here where we can do the network monitoring the discovery and then the asset log so when first started i did the skip at uh the alien vault so let's go ahead and get started so it's the eve zero Yes, and that's the network interface car. Uh, let's see here. I think we're supposed to scan the network. Want to scan this network here? Yes, I want to scan all of it. Just. Cannot scan. As a scan, cannot complete. Try again. Okay. One sec. Okay, so <laughs> it uh, wouldn't scan for me, so I have to manually type them in. So this is gonna be the Linux server. The IP address ten zero. 2.28 that's one straight up here that's that one asset type to Linux go add that so I don't think they like the spaces yes that's what it was um, and that's the sensor let me see what we got here So we're going to insert the gateway, which was 10.0.2.0. And the gateway was called the network device. Uh, we got the OSSIM sensor, which is 10.0.2.0. 61 uh, which is also a Linux and then uh, and we need to add the OSIM server which is 10.0.2.60 and that was the Linux so one two three four so we got the four here and let's make this bigger 60 61 28 and the gateway is wrong it's supposed to be gate way to be 10.0.2.1 which is the gateway add that and we take out this one with the 10.0.2.0 okay one two three and four and next okay so on this section here I know the OSS and the sensor, they use the same password. So those were the two machines on the left and the right. Whichever password you use, check one and do it at the same time, uh, at a time. For in this case, these two, the server and the sensor were the same password. So I'm doing it both at the same time. So I'm gonna deploy that.
you know, while that's logging in, trying to make connection, and trying to get the head service set up, the host intrusion detection service up and running. So we were able to deploy heads on two. So that means that, hey, we're certified, we're good. Everything's good there. And we're gonna uncheck those two and we're gonna look at the Linux server. And on the Linux server was this one right here. So So if I remember my username and password was correct, I think it was root and this password. And I'm gonna deploy it. And see if it can make the connections to deploy uh, an agent. So it's literally with each virtual machine will have something that collecting data to send back. So we were able to deploy one on one. So we're good. So we're deploying a sensor on the server, uh, Linux server, the one in the middle. We're deploying a sensor on the OSSIM server and also on the uh, OSIM sensor too. So that's good there. So we got all three up and deployed. Go ahead next. Next one is log management. And then uh, this step's asking uh, if found this gateway that was also there. Uh, select the vendor of the gateway, which is your router and stuff. Um, I don't know because it's a virtual machine. So let's just hit enable. Uh, maybe we could find out by looking through here. And we just choose uh, one of them that is running, check the settings, network. Uh, let's go to, so the Intel Pro. 1000 MT desktop. So let's see if that will work. The Intel. Oh, my. Is, I'm not sure what it is. So we're going to just skip this step. And this uh, OTX is the Open Threat Exchange. This is where all the threat intelligence will feed into what's happening with your system. And you can match up and look at the vulnerabilities and figure out how to uh, best mitigate it, uh, the risk. I don't have one here, so we can skip this step. So we can enjoy it at any time, which is fine. So we're we'll gonna hit finish. So now it says congratulations, everything's good here. Um, let's just go ahead and explore the AM vault now. Once we have those uh, hits set up, uh, we're going to wait a little bit uh, for our data to populate onto a dash here. But uh, we're going to check the deployment, make sure that these two are still up, the sensor is still good, and the server is still good. We can actually check the uh, sensor. We're going to look at the sensor configuration. Just make sure everything's just up and running. Uh, maybe take a little bit while for the data to draw in. So since it's a sensor, it's going back to 10.0260, which is the server. Um, so we're good there. Uh, detection using ETH1, and then it's sending out to ETH0. Uh, and so it's listening to ETH1, and it's monitoring these. I think uh, the modern network, I think this is where we're going to have to put in our network, which is the 10.0.2-0-24. Add that. 
gonna apply changes. So that's the sensor. I just monitoring all those network there. Okay. That's gonna take a few seconds. Reconfiguring is running, wait a minute. Or it's complete. Okay, so this prize is down uh, that I'm not sure of. Let's just collect the information. See, there's an update. Maybe because the system went down, it's coming back up. Detection, collection. Okay, so it's still down. Uh, we'll figure that one out a little bit later. Hit back. Um, let's go back to Alien Vault and let's look at the server itself and look at the sensor configuration. Yeah, it's a lot of waiting, but uh, I think it'd be well worth it. You guys are making an hour this far with me already, an hour and 20 minutes. So right now I'm just double checking the configuration, make sure everything is set correct so we can actually pull some data in and start looking to see what's happening on the network. So. It looks like uh, the IP address is on loopback, so everything is getting collected. Uh, I'm just going to add that network here, 10.0.2.0/24 network. And we're going to apply the changes. So take a few minutes. Be back. Okay, so it looks like every time I update it, the props go down. I think uh, it's um, since I'm making the change here, um, I have to reboot the server and also got to reboot the sensor to make sure that the changes are happening. So now it should be checking on that network. Let's check. The sensors, the sensors are up. Okay. Let's look at the server. Server is up. Password, everything there. Alarms on. And uh, let's check the overview of the dashboard. Okay, there you go, we're pulling data in. So by employing those agents onto each individual server or a computer, uh, able to pull the data. So now you do authenticate, 6061. All right, so it looks like we got the server and the sensor. There's tickets, like a security. So, says log entry, so 93. The hits log session closed, so there's something that's closed. Session open. Uh, let's look at this hit at 93. So these are log entries. Uh, the risk is low. Uh, this data source is same. On each zero sixty, the source and the destination IP address. Um, so CMD. So it went through a script. So it was in bar log, uh, mail script. Um, so, so it's 
So probably just a login. Uh, in this case, I think it might have been a login or some kind of something got reported on a log. All right, so let's we can go back. So all these are low risk, but it was 93. Go back again. Okay, so there you go. There you go. Um, there you go. Um, this is uh, the Kali Linux right here. Uh, 10.0.225. Okay, so possible Kali Linux host uh, name and DHCP request packet. Okay, so we're actually on the Kali Linux machine right now. So it's logging stuff. So that's great. Uh, let's look at deployment status. See if there's anything on this dashboard. Probably not. Check the overview again. Look at executive. Okay, so the data source is flowing through. That's nine for recon. Let's look at the recon. There was a potential SSH scan on the outbound. Okay. It's be something interesting, but it's, it's low. So we look at the information here. It's an HSH port outbound scan. We can reference probably, probably a brute force attack that, that probably could happen. So that's, that's cool. Uh, let's look at um, assets and group. These are the one that we set up. So there's five. Let's look at the network. Okay, that's twenty four. Look at the deployment. So got those two. Make sure they are up and running. So the server's up and running. So there's a lot more to dive into this. Um, it's way over my head. I'm gonna try to look into more of uh, what we can do with this sim. But right now it's very interesting. There's a lot of data flowing through, and a lot to look up. So status of computers. Uh, VMs that are running. This is great. This is awesome. Okay, there's all the sensors. All right. So going back, just check the overview. There you go. Uh, that's all I got for this installation of uh, Alien uh, Volt uh, OSSIM. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Um, more to this coming. Thank you. And all like, share, and subscribe.